good morning students in the today's class we shall discuss about the determination of fluoride ions by calorimetric or spectrophotometric method in this method in the calorimetric method here the fluoride ions which are present in the water sample are to be determined by using the calorimetric method in this method the fluoride ions which are present in the water sample are to the are to be treated with zirconium along with organic reagent that is spadens reagent here the fluoride ion contained water is to be treated with zirconium along with the spadens reagent spadens meet full form of spadens is sodium 2 para sulfophenyl azo 18 dihydroxy 36 naphthalene disulfonate this is the full form of spadens reagent okay here the sulfate contained sorry fluoride contained water sample is to be treated with zirconium spadens reagent when you treat the or when you treat the fluoride contained water sample with the zirconium spadens reagent then the color will develop as you already know in the instrumentation chapter as we discussed in the instrumentation instrumentation chapter the calorimetry is the instrument calorimetry is the instrument by using that calorimeter we can identify we can identify only the colored solution here also the color will develop when you treat the fluoride contained water sample with zirconium spadens reagent that means when you add the zirconium spadens reagent to the fluoride contained water sample then the color will develop by getting the color we can measure the absorbance of the solution absorbance of the colored solution by using calorimeter then we can plot the or we can plot the calibration draw the calibration plot of absorbance versus molar concentration absorbance versus molar concentration then we can calculate the molar concentration of the test solution molar concentration of the test solution this is the principle the principle involves the fluoride contained water sample is to be treated with zirconium spadens reagent when you the when the zirconium spadens reagent is to be added to the fluoride contained water sample then the color will develop we can we will get the color after getting the color the colored solution we can measure the absorbance of the colored solution by knowing the molar concentration of the standard solution then we can easily calculate the molar concentration of the test solution as we know in the as we discussed in the instrumentation chapter the calorimeter instrument is used to identify or measure the molar concentration of the only the colored solution this is the principle involved in this method then what is the procedure here in order to calculate the molar concentration of the fluoride contained test sample first we must measure the molar concentration of the standard solution we must prepare the standard solution that is the preparation of the calibration curve calibration curve means molar concentration versus absorbance plot here the standard solution are to be prepared by dissolving 0.221 grams of anhydrous sodium fluoride sodium fluoride in water sample and dilute it to 1000 ml 0.221 gram of anhydrous sodium fluoride is to be diluted in 1 liter of the water sample or distilled water then again the concentration of the solution is to be reduced to 10 mg per liter 10 mg per liter from that solution we must pip it out 1 2 3 up to 8 ml of water sample 1 sorry 1 2 3 up to 8 ml of sodium fluoride solution in eight different 
50 ml water so 50 ml standard volumetric flask okay here 0.221 gram of anhydrous sodium fluoride is to be diluted in 1000 ml of water sample then the water and the, again the concentration of the solution is to be reduced to 10 mg per liter from that solution we must pipette out 1 2 3 4 up to 8 ml in 8 different 50 ml volumetric flask for the first volumetric flask we must add 1 ml second volumetric flask 2 ml of sodium fluoride third volumetric flask 3 ml of sodium fluoride in the same way up to 8 ml eighth volumetric flask we must add 8 ml of anhydrous sodium fluoride solution to all the eight volumetric flask we must add 10 ml of zirconium zirconium spadens reagent 10 ml of zirconium spadens reagent then the solution is to be diluted up to the mark by using the distilled water okay this is how we we must prepare the standard solution then we must add 10 ml of zirconium spadens reagent to all the eight volumetric flask dilute the solution up to the mark by using distilled water shake it well then we must measure the absorbance of the all the standard these are the standard solution absorbance of all the standard solution then we must plot or draw the calibration plot of absorbance versus molar concentration this is all about standard solution next is the determination of fluoride in water sample the same procedure is applied here also known volume of fluoride contained water sample is pipetted out into the 50 ml volumetric flask known volume of fluoride contained test sample test sample this is a test sample is to be pipetted out into the volumetric flask 50 ml volumetric flask in the same way we must add the 10 ml of 10 ml of zirconium zirconium spadens reagent zirconium spadens reagent zirconium spadens reagent then dilute the solution up to the mark shake it well then we must measure the absorbance of the solution then we must measure the absorbance of the solution by plotting the calibration or by drawing the calibration plot of absorbance versus molar concent molar concentration we can determine the molar concentration of the test solution here i have given the example these are the assumed values one is the um, in this table the molar concentration of the standard solution and absorbance absorbance of those standard solution molar concentrations are 0 for 0.02 0.12 is the absorbance 0.04 standard solution 0.25 in the same way